Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be mixing some tints and some shades. We have learned about monochromatic color meaning one color. And we talked about how if you take your hue, your original color, and you add some white, you are making a lighter version of that color which we call a tint. And then if you take your original color, which is your hue, and you add a little bit of black, then you are making a shade, which is a darker version of that color. Now, today I'm going to be mixing white and black with my red hue, but you could use any color you'd like. So let's get started. Here I have two mixing sticks, one for my tints, one for my shades, and I have my black paint and my white paint, as well as my chosen hue color. Now I'm actually going to switch these so that my black is above my shades and my white is above my hues, just so I don't get confused, but you can have them anywhere you'd like. So I'm going to start making some tints First, I'm going to take my tint mi mixing stick, I'm going to pick up some of my hue here, and I'm just going to put it in my first tint circle. And I'm actually going to make sure I have quite a good bit of that hue color in there. And if you ever need some more hue, don't be afraid to ask for more. Then I'm going to take some of the white here and I am going to drop it right on top of that hue that I have. And I'm going to take my tint mixing stick and I'm going to start to mix my first hue. And you will see that the white is starting to mix in with my red, making a little bit of a lighter version of my red. Now. What you could do is you could take some more of your hue and put it in your next circle. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of that tint I just mixed and I'm going to put it in my next circle here. And I'm going to take some more of that white and I'm going to add it in. And then I'm going to take my tint mixing stick and I'm going to mix more white into the first tint that I made and you will see that it's starting to get even lighter. So now I have two different tints of my original hue. Now I could take some of this tint and put it in this circle, add some more white like I did the first time and make another tint, but I don't wanna use up all of the tints that I mixed because I need to paint my portrait with them. So I'm actually gonna just take some more of my hue here. And I'm going to add a little bit more white than I did the first couple of times. I'm trying not to get any of my hue in my white paint. If you do, no big deal. I'm gonna take my tint mixing stick and I'm going to mix yet another tint. Now if you're not happy with how your color is turning out, you can add more of your hue or you can add, add more of your white. But as long as you're mixing some of your hue and some of your white, you are creating a tint. So I'm actually going to be adding a little bit more of my hue. So this tint is kind of in between my first one and my second one. It's a little bit lighter than my first and a little bit darker than my second. So I am happy with that. I'm going to set my tint mixing stick to the side. Now we are going to mix some shades. So just like we did with our tints, we are first going to start with our shade mixing stick and some of our hue. Now anytime you are mixing black with your hue, you really do not need a whole ton of black. I'm just going to let one little drop fall onto my hue, take my mixing stick, 
and mix that in and you can see already how dark my color has gotten. Now that, if I painted it, would be a very dark maroon, which is fine, but if you did want to add some more of your hue, you could do that as well. Okay. That is a nice dark red. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that red here. I'm going to add it to my second circle. And then instead of taking my black, I'm actually gonna take some of this first hue. And I'm gonna mix it in. And you can see I'm getting a little bit of a lighter version of my first shade. But I'm still mixing black in with my hue making a shade of my original color. Now I'm gonna make one more and I am gonna start with my hue. And again, if at any time you run out of your hue, we can always get some more. A very small drop of black and I'm going to mix that in. So this is also kind of a medium dark red. I have my darkest, my next darkest, and then the lightest of my shades, which has the least amount of black. And then from here, you could experiment mixing some of your tints with some of your shades. For instance, if I took part of this shade here and some of this tint here, I would get a more neutral version of my hue because not only am I mixing red, but I'm mixing red with the white that was in my tint and red with the black that was in my shade. So technically I am adding gray and gray is a neutral color. So when you add gray to any hue, you're going to get a very subtle version of that color. I think that's really pretty. So now I have a few different tints of my hue, a few different shades of my hue, and a neutral, ver ver a neutral version of my hue as well. Okay. Now that we have added some white to our hue for our tints, and some black to our hue for our shades, and I also have some original hue up here, I am now ready to begin to paint my portrait. Before I start painting, I'm gonna look in the mirror and I'm gonna decide which features of mine are a little bit darker. Which features would I use a shade to paint? I know that I have darker hair, a darker hair color, so I would probably use one of my darker shades for my hair. I also have some dark eyes, so I might use one of my lighter shades for my eyes. For my skin, I would probably go with one of my lighter tints and maybe a medium tint for my lips. And then the rest I can kind of judge from there. Now my eyebrows and my eyelashes, I'm gonna go over again with Sharpie so that they can really stand out after we have painted over them. Before we start painting, we have two different size paintbrushes. I have a bigger paintbrush for some of those bigger areas and a little bit of a smaller one for those smaller areas. The first area I'm gonna start with is my hair. I'm gonna be using my darker shade for my hair and for our tempera paint, we are gonna take our brush out of the water and we're gonna to wanna to dry it off before we dip it in our paint so that our paint does not become watery. With my brush, of course, I'm going to outline my areas first and then I will fill the rest in with long, smooth brush strokes.
Now, boys and girls, we are not going to be doing the background because we are going to be cutting our self-portrait out. And as you can see, I left my pupils blank because I'm going to color them in with Sharpie whenever I go back over all of my outlines.